Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Korean Atlanta Mentorship. In this video, I'm going to talk about why it's so hard to achieve goals, especially as an adult, right? And, and the incentive system as an adult is different from, from when you're a kid. And I'm going to just talk about the main difference of being a kid and, and an adult, right? So when you're a kid, there's usually congratulations for success and there's punishment for failure, right? Like you don't follow the rules, you go to detention, you get punished, you get good grades, you get congratulated, or you go to a you know so-called good college and get congratulated, right? And then when you become an adult, the incentive system is very different because there is no congratulations for success, but only punishment for failure. And I I, I wouldn't say this is true 100% of the time. You know, if you do amazing things, people will congratulate you once in a blue moon. But as a general rule you don't get punished. I mean, you don't get congratulated for success. You just get punished for failure. And the easiest example that I can think of is just driving on a freeway, right? So if you get on a freeway and you get out without any car accidents happening, there's no congratulations for that, right? But let's say you get on a freeway and then there's a car accident. In fact, I've been watching a lot of car accident videos on YouTube. It's a bit, a little bit, it's been a little bit addicting to watch those types of videos and I'm I, you know you could imagine the amount of stress anxiety um, financial ruin that will happen just from one car accident and that's what I mean just one accident on a freeway is that punishment for failure but if you drive successfully on a freeway you don't ever get congratulated right that that's what I essentially mean by no congratulations for success and only punishment for failure. And it's the same thing with other adult things in life, like doing your taxes, right? Like you don't get congratulated by the IRS for doing your taxes, but if you don't file, you'll certainly get punished, right? And I, I heard a saying from an accountant that filing wrong, <laughs> again, I'm not giving any accounting advice, but I heard from an account that filing wrong is better than not filing at all, right? And again, so this is why you have to change your mindset about reaching your goals that, you know, you're going to do amazing things. Even if you did amazing things like walk on water, right? No one will, almost nobody will recognize or congratulate you for it. And there are some Michael Jordan-ish type things that I have done in my life. And people almost, because it was so good, people just kind of like looked over it, right? And I'm like, and when it first happened to me, I'd be just be like, What? And I realized that I can't use external markers like congratulations to if I want to achieve my goals. In fact, I almost I pretty much have to expect if I have goals, no one's going to congratulate me for it. But, you know, if I F up in life, if I if I fail in life, that's that's the punishment. Right. I only get punishment for failure. And and again, it's almost a mindset shift that you have to um, walk away from from when you were a kid where you know, you are expecting that congratulations for doing a good job. But when you're an adult, that that certainly doesn't happen. That's why I think a lot of young people, when they transition into adulthood, especially if they were babied, right, do not adjust well, right? Like they don't adjust well. And here's the thing, like, there's many things in my life where um, I've done that Michael Jordan-ish type stuff, even outside of the things I talk about in this channel, right? Like I, there's certain things I don't talk about in this channel because I want to make it more about financial and real estate related, even though I'm not like a real estate pro, but even with real estate, I've done like bizarre things that I don't think anybody has like ever done. And nobody really like congratulated for me for it. Like no one says, how did you do this? That's, that's mind blowing. And again, I know people who have done much more amazing things than I have, but I think, you know, the first time I got a renter, let me show you this, right? I got paid 14 grand on my first rental, <laughs> renter on a rental property. And I'm a relatively new landlord, 2023. And I've shown this to a lot of people. And I think only two people I said, wow, that's, that's amazing. Where the other people I showed, they just kind of kept quiet. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, you know, well, I didn't, they didn't really say that, but in my mind they're thinking, oh, uh, not a big deal, 14 grand from a renter. <laughs> in a single family home. Now this is prepay, but still, I think I'm the only landlord out there who got this much money from a tenant. And then <laughs> the same day, I got a text message of thank you so much for everything. We appreciate you, right? Like, isn't that like Michael Jordan-ish type stuff when it comes to the world of landlording? 
I don't know any other landlord who's able to pull this off and get this type of text message. See, the text message is like the cherry on top for this. But, you know, when I show this to other people, like, I, I won't say 100% of the time. I'll say 95% of the time they don't congratulate me. And they don't know, like, how did you do that? Like, what did you say? You know, like, and, and so it's, it's that. And again, I'm comfortable with this at this stage of my life that there's no congratulations for success, but only punishment for failure, right? And on a, on a related side note, I have a, a, a friend who bought rental property and she hates it. She's been a landlord less than I have. And I told her, hey, you know, take some classes with me and we'll get into real estate and learn all the basics and have a great foundation. And she refused because she didn't, you know, she didn't need it. That's or that's what I thought, you know, or made it seem like. And then you know, she's been a landlord less than I have. And she says her tenants are such a, a, a burden or I, for, I forgot what the exact word was. Whereas I can't even remember sometimes I even have a rental property. Right. Because the tenant never bothers me. And she's the tenant is incredibly clean and, and it's like a dream tenant. Right. So so you see like the differences with between our experiences. I have a success, but there's no congratulations for anybody. My friend who bought a rental property but didn't want to take classes experienced failure. You see, you see the difference. And that's just how it is in life. So you have to get comfortable with that. And the best remedy for you know, under, you know, being a successful is education and having a good foundation of what it is that you're doing and being able to make good moves over and over again, right? Like you don't want to just go into things blind and then learn at that moment uh, what you're supposed to do. Then, then that becomes really difficult. It's like trying to live in a, a foreign country where you know absolutely nothing about the language. It's, you know, it's a little, probably a little bit better to have a good foundation of the language than go to the country than just kind of going in blind and, um, you know, <laughs> not not having a good foundation of living in that new society if you do decide to move to a new country, right? So again, I want you to have a mindset shift. I want you to do your best, but realize that 95% of the time, there's not going to be a congratulations for being a success, but you have to protect yourself, right? And w if you don't do things the right way, then there's only going to be punished for your punishment for your failure. Okay, well, this is Korean Atlanta Mentorship. If you're interested in joining our group, go ahead and click the Google Form link below. Other than that, we'll uh, see you all in the next video.